Now what we're going to do today is the 2G horizontal groove plate weld using the gas metal arc welding process. Um, this is a little diagram of how we're going to do it. The plate is going to be half an inch thick. Your groove is going to be 60 degrees included. So on each side it's going to be 30 for an included of 60 degrees. Your root opening here is going to be eighth of an inch. A little bit bigger, so I put a greater than sign of eighth of an inch. Uh, your face is going to be a sixteenth of an inch. Your progression is going to go one root pass with very little manipulation. You're going to have to do your second one in the J weld form. So you're going to start at the top and come down. Start at the top and come down. The third and fourth are also J welds, maybe not as much of a manipulation. Your covers, five, six, and seven here, you always start at the bottom and you kind of shelf it up so the six can go on top of the five and the seven can go on top of the six. Then you're going to have to use J welds there as well. Um, eighth of an inch is the maximum root convexity for both the face as well as the root. So that's your goal in life is to make sure it's not over eighth of an inch and it has to at least be flush with the plate. What we're going to do is um, we're going to use a Millermatic 252 with a rod of ER 70S-6 electrode rod, 70,000 pounds of tinsel strength, solid wire and the composition of the wire. It's going to be 035 inches. That's the diameter of the wire. And we're going to use the short circuit transfer so it burns a little bit cooler, which allows you to have you know good good manipulation. You can move it around a lot. So let's go out and burn it. All right, we're getting ready to run our uh, 2G for Meg. We're going to do it on a Miller, Miller Medic 252. We got our wire feed at uh, 230 inches per minute and our voltage at 17.4. There's our bottle pressure and our uh, line pressure at is roughly um, 28 cubic feet per hour. The top in the black is cubic feet per hour. Bottom is in liters per minute for the rest of the world besides the United States of America. All right, we're just getting ready to start our uh, 2G GMAW plate weld. We got her tacked up here, and we're gonna go straight across horizontal. There's the root we just did. It's bled through most of the way. It's acceptable to bend, so. Right, we just finished up our root pass, so we're gonna go to our hot pass, which is gonna be a J weld over the uh, root pass.
Now we just got done with our hot pass and we're going to do two over that. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way up, shelf our way up to the top. Alright, we just completed pass one of the two passes that are going to go over our hot pass. You can see it's on the bottom, and we're going to try and cover up half of that one with the next one, and half of it go into new material on the top. All right, we just finished our two over the hot pass. So we're gonna move into uh, doing either three or four for covers. When I did stick, I had to do four, but I think I can get away with doing three for Meg. We'll zoom in here. I had a spot where the cord got caught. Right there. That's the beauty of the filler passes. You're gonna cover it up anyway. So if you have a little hiccup, you can just blend it all in.
All right, we just did the two out of the three top passes. And you can see there's a nice little shelf for the third one. So we're gonna burn that in now and then we'll look at the final weld. Alright, there's our three passes for the top. There's our three passes for the top. And you can see each one is used as a shelf. The top one is closest to the camera. 